Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm James Rose and this is Victoria 3 where we are playing the UK. I'm trying not to have everything fall down on me. Oh, excess bureaucracy gives you state construction efficiency, that's cool. I mean 2% isn't actually very much, so that's not going to do much. Um, well that's interesting to know, I've never had excess bureaucracy before. So, engines have gone up in price, electricity's gone up in price. What we're we building right now, we just built a bunch of universities, so hopefully my literacy rate will go back up. Okay. Electricity is really blooming expensive again. Uh, repeaters. Can we... What would that be under? Development? No. Arms industry. Urban. Arms. Repeaters. Actually makes me more money. Good. Oh, wait. This now is better. Let's do that. We still need more electricity. We also need more engines. We need to get the cost of engines down. Um, let's go here and do that. Newfoundland really wants to have more blooming engines, don't they? I kind of like just building up the <laughs> main island, though, honestly. Though I feel like I should be concentrating my building in particular states, because I think that's actually better. I need a lot of engines. I want my rail costs to be really low. There we go. Tons and tons of engines. This can only end poorly. And then electricity. Uh, urban... Where is it? Power plants. Build. We make money on the power plants, which is cool. Where are we going to put these? Okay, let's play. Trench warfare, go. Go take a while. But I want to be able to attack China. And I feel like having stronger infantry like that is going to be the deciding factor. Okay, we're working on electricity. Steel. Steel is very expensive. Probably because it's our main building thing now. Building material. We can make a lot of money by building up steel. Munster still has lots of peasants, so you're going to have more urbanomics and stuff. Where is this? I have such a massive population of peasants here. I've actually built this up loads. You know what? I could build... Um, I can make quite a bit of money from plantations here. Dyes. I can build dyes here. There we go. Also build tobacco. And we're definitely going to need more infrastructure. Market access is bad over here. We can fix that. Oh, there's no railways here. That's surprising. Government wages is the main thing. It just costs a fortune. It's got to keep building... I just built a bunch of uh, bureaucracy 
uh, bureaucratic stuff and um, words are failing me, universities as well, so that probably hasn't helped. I can't really do much about opium right now, I don't think. Why do I have so many fl Oh, I think one of my commanders died. That's why so many flotilla are in reserve. Steel and glass need to go down. Apparently I've run out of convoys again. Yep. Available convoys, 52,000. Required convoys, 49,000. We're doing so much trading. Why do I have an inactive route? Go to that. We're building some electricity now. That's hurting. But we will be okay. Look at all the motor industries. I think I might have possibly overdone it a bit. Maybe a lot. Motors are going to be um, really cheap by the time we're done anyway. I feel like we need the steel first. Because the steel is need to build the motors. So if we don't have that first. Then. We're going to struggle. Railways as always though should definitely be done. Before anything else. The game seems to be lagging a bit now. And ports. Railways and ports. Okay back in the positive. Again it's all about. Balancing that investment pool and the development. Yeah, we have 8 million in the investment pool. That's good. The, uh, Germany is importing ammunition. Engines are down a bit. Clippers are down a bit. Enact universal suffrage. Hmm. I don't know if I want everybody to be able to vote. Does it actually help me at all? I don't see how this helps me. As a government, I don't see how allowing everybody to vote is actually beneficial to me. Somebody explain in the comments why. Why can't I change to this? Oh, actually, I have a lot of bureaucracy, don't I? I should look at improving some of this. I can. Here we go. Yes. Less radicals. Go. Less radicals, more loyalists. Go. Minus 1% morality, more mortality from wealth. Go. I don't know how the welfare payments work. Is welfare something I can see on here? Welfare payments. So currently only 10k. So if they're 10,000 at level 1, they'd be 20,000 and 30,000 at these two levels. The fraction of the normal wage at which pops receive welfare payments from the state. So they have 10% of what is ever, whatever can... Can I see what the, the, the normal wage is? Normal wage. The baseline wage in a country, which means buildings take into account government wages and military wages are based on the normal wages, determined from the average wages paid by industries across incorporated states. So this is just going to cost me more money if I put this up. But it will also help people be... That you should like run the economy more, right? Right? That's how it works. I'm just going to wait for these to actually happen before I do the other ones. 
I don't want to be bankrupting myself for welfare payments. Momentum Wig Party, Ulster gets railway throughput. Momentum for Wig Party. No, definitely better railways, please. I don't really care what's happening in the government that much. I'm the queen, I can do what I want. Now, how do I... I think I need technologies to get the higher colonial stuff, don't I? I really want trench works, though. Once we have that, we will go and beat up an act secret police. I currently have guarantee liberties. This just seemed better. Revolution down, radicals down, loyalists up. Suppression impact on interest group attraction, revolution down, political movement radicalism down. I like what I have. They do want universal suffrage, which I'm not completely against. The problem is the industrialists oppose it. Also, how do you feel about me right now, France? No, I don't want the market. I'm not interested in your market. I want your country. And they're cautious. I didn't get the achievement for expelling the diplomats, so... Let's go ahead and start improving relations with them again, and we'll try this again. Whoa! What happened to my money? What are we building? Oh wait! Oh no, I'm on the. I was gonna say I'm on the wrong page. There we go. Steel mills, motor industries, power plants. Yeah, built, the power plants are hurting our budget right now. But I'm guessing, yeah, electricity is still super costly. So we really do need the power plants built. They won't take too long. They do build fairly quickly, I think. Let's have a look. 27 weeks for the last ones. 12 weeks for the earliest ones. That should be fine. Hey, look, Germany exists. Well done, Germany. You appeared. Popularity. 90% chance. Loyalists. Or this one. I'll do that one. Hopefully we get the loyalists. How's our population doing? Our population's going up quite quickly right now. Standard of living is okay. GDP's good. Radicals and loyalists are both a bit all over the place. We need more steel and glass again. Munster has really bad market access. Munster. You need railways. You don't have any. Have five. Let's stick them in the queue. That will actually help my money briefly. Is there anything I can do here? Is this good yet? Maybe a little bit. That's actually really good. Everybody can start being moved via the rail. I have a good rail system now. God damn, where are the 2,000 of these we have? 
just all over the place. Why are you making no money? Is it, it's because you're being built, I think. That's fine. I wish you wouldn't show them on there if they were in the middle of being built. Oh, we can make money by swapping them to publicly traded. Electric and so we can produce more engines, but steel's expensive right now. So we need to get the price of steel and electric. Uh, mostly electricity actually. Well, we can do that. What's this? Bureaucratic shortfall. Is this going to hurt me shortly? Probably. How's the electricity going? Uh, 12 weeks and the power plants are all done. Never enough electricity. We still need more. I also need to get the price of glass down and hardwood. Glass applications can be built. Munster still has a lot of peasants. Let's fix that. Fat Munster, you're going to be a glass haven. Then we need hardwood. How much money we make from wood doesn't change too much. So we'll just build it places where people need jobs. Food. Again, I'm just going to build it in places where people need jobs. Total weekly cost is going to be... This seems fine. Maybe it won't be fine. Oh, I see. It changes one bit at a time. That's kind of cool. So I need to keep up with the cost of it, really, don't I? Urban. Administration. You know what? Newfoundland, you can have some. Do we're building more things that make money. Money affairs, institution, investment. Uh, politics, institutions. So I can put this up one. Can I? I can slow these down for a bit until we have more uh, bureaucracy available. I don't want this as well. Why well, I actually want is level 5. Because that will allow me to push all of India together. Hey look, we're making money. It's a miracle. It mostly just comes down to whatever I'm building. If I'm building things that people all invest in, it's good. If I'm not, then <laughs> it's not good. Hey look, Europe's looking fairly good now. Italy does need to um, take this bit off of Austria, though. They can leave me with this. Hopefully this can continue touching both Austria and Italy. That'd be good. I don't think that's how that works, though. Uh, 
Oh, we still have a bureaucratic shortfall. So really what I've just learned is I should be doing those like one at a time. I'm not going to push the bureaucracy stuff up because I want us to pay off a little bit more of our deficit first. Reducing the cost of glass will also help us. Glass is actually our most expensive thing right now. Unsurprisingly followed by electricity. Everybody needs electricity. I'm definitely going to be the number one producer of electricity whole, the whole game now. Like, can I see... Am I the only... I think I'm probably the only person producing electricity right now. Okay, so what can we do to help ourselves? Something we could do is just go and take over some middle-sized countries. You guys have oil, don't you? I'm sure I remember you guys had oil. Oh, America has oil as well, but I can't exactly just go and invade the US easily. Oh, you're actually already part of my market. I didn't realize that. I could just go and conquer all the Middle East. That will probably help me with oil later. Like, oh man. What's oh man going to do if I turn up with my ships and soldiers? What's the difference between a puppet and a dominion? Puppet. Recognized powers may turn a weak country into their puppet. A puppet is a subject that cannot start their own diplomatic plays, yet are forced to join the overlord's wars. Must pay 20% of their treasury income to the overlord each week. And then dominion. Recognized powers may turn weak countries into a dominion. Dominion is a more autonomous subject type that are able to start their own diplomatic plays. I'd rather have puppets, thank you. Countries that may join either side or remain neutral as country. We believe these countries will side with the enemy. The Ottoman Empire will side with them if I go in there. We'll have these allies. I don't really want to fight the Ottomans. Then again, are the Ottomans actually going to be able to fight me? So what am I building that is killing my economy now? Okay, we're on the government administration already, that's why. Ottomans, do you want to be my friend? You don't like me. Let's improve relations. Okay, so what I actually need is more electricity. But I want to try not to get a worse deficit for a bit. So I'm not going to build electricity for now. We'll go with more glassworks. Wales, you can have some glassworks. So can Yorkshire. Yorkshire have quite a lot of peasants. Uh, opium, we can't do anything about. I'm in the middle of building food. Government. Go away. Yeah, we're building food, so I won't do more of that. We can build dyes. Oh, which of these is better? It looks like these synthetic plants are slightly better for us, and we can build them at home as well. That's dyes. We need more coal. Make a ton of money from coal. Keep building that up. What else do we need? Engines and steel again. I'm going to do steel first. 
Do Foundland, you can have some steel. What? What? This is the first time this has come up. Each point of taxation capacity in a state allows for the efficient taxation of 10,000 pops. If the population of the state outgrows it, the efficiency of all forms of taxation will be reduced. Well, that's not good. So, Lancashire has greatly outgrown the taxation capacity. Taxation capacity can be increased through researching certain technologies or constructing government administration buildings in the state. So you need some government administration buildings. They do already have five. It doesn't tell me how much it puts up the taxation capacity, though. If I click on it. So, we get... I think this is 78 is what we're getting from the buildings we have there. I think I possibly need a bit more than I just built. There we go. That'll definitely do it. We don't want them to not be being taxed. Opium we can't do anything about. Newfoundland have a better port and have a couple of railways apparently we can now build bigger naval bases industrialists go I wonder how much it would cost me to go to war. If I say Burma. I want you to be my new puppet. The Dynam will side with them. Where is Dynam? I don't know if they can even easily get to them. I think we need to go puppet more people. Burma should be easy to do, and that will also give me a good border with Qing if I go after them. I won't need to naval invade then. Who can I sway to my side? Yeah, East India Company. I'm going to take on your debt. Oh, they refused? What? That's annoying. Why is my infamy level high? Where is infamous? It's not that bad. Where is this? Down there. Oh, they, can, they can have war reps from Burma. They won't accept that. I should probably mobilize my generals. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, 
Oh, I think the East India Company have joined me now. Okay, I'll give you an obligation. I just want to get you involved because it'd be funny. Are you in what? Are you involved now? Ah, now they're involved. Cool. Now I can put men on the fronts. You. How many fronts do we have? It looks like three. You go there. You also go there. You go there. You go here. And then I still think that big front is pro. Oh. What? Oh, don't tell me. Ch have Chin got involved? Wait, 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 wait. That makes things a bit diff big different. Pause, 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 pause. Ching. I think Ching are involved. That is going to be interesting. Go defend my port there if you can. I'll at least be able to see what kind of infantry they have. <laughs> this is going to end poorly. Save me. Where is that? Oh, Siam is involved. Okay. Can I take... This war got bigger than I was expecting it to be. This could be interesting. Oh my god, these pop-ups, I hate them. I hate them so much. You. There. And where are the rest of my ships? And how do I put somebody in charge of them? Navy. Oh, I can change that now. I should do that. Yep, that's only a positive. I don't know if that cost him more money. I didn't look. It was only a little bit, I think. Anyway, navy, 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 navy. So we have these two, and then we have 35 garrisoned here not being used. So I'm guessing I need to go... Where is Ad Admiral? Oh, recruit the Admiral. Here. Go with this guy. Still have some flotilla in reserve. Oh, they're kind of split up though. I don't like this. This needs to be made more organized later. You raid convoys. There. You raid convoys. 
there. I'm just trying to raid China all over the place. Okay, it doesn't look like China actually have a war goal. They're just supporting the war. So if we can take over Burma and have them surrender, we should be good. Though we may need to do the same to Siam. Are all my men over here? I don't even know. I don't know what's happening. Go soldiers, fight. Am I losing up here? Unsurprisingly, yes. Um, okay, can I at least see what you have? What are these? The line infantry. Okay, so they are worse than mine, but they're not as bad as they were the last time we fought. So I'm going to lose that port. There's nothing I can do about that. You. Come and defend this front if you can. The main thing here is we just need to take Burma. That will pretty much end the war. Although Siam may also want to fight us. Probably a good thing I got the East Indian Company involved. Otherwise, this would have probably gone very poorly. I mean, it could still go very poorly, let's be honest. This war's already cost me a ton. Although they have a lot more dead than me. Mostly Ching attrition. I might not do construction while we're doing this. I also think I'll slow it down. Let's get rid of these roots we don't need. Newfoundland has low market access. We can fix that. I'm guessing it's infrastructure. We are building railways for them already. That will fix that. Expensive military goods. Ammunition. We could sort that. Home country is more than happy to build me some ammunition. And you know what? I'll just stick it all over the empire plus Wales. Cheap ammunition will not be an issue. And I think with that, this is a good place to stop. And then next time we will have an episode where we have a proper big war. This, will, this also shows how strong Ching is. It looks like they have line infantry now. So I probably do want to get my trench infantry here. What kind of men do Burma have? I'm guessing they probably also have line infantry. We can see. Okay, so these are Burm Burmese. It looks like their troops... Yeah, they have irregular infantry, which are really bad. So Ching is the issue here. Uh, Siam, we have another battle here. We can check them. Looks to me like Siam also have irregular infantry. So yeah, I'd say Ching is the only real threat here. If they hadn't got involved, this wouldn't even be an issue. But they have, so this will be fun, I'm sure. Until next time, though, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you then. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.